Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for those of you new. Hi, I'm Jeanette from Body Quest Sewing and Crafts. And in this video, what I am going to be doing is I am actually going to be embroidering initials on the flap of a $500 jacket. Yes, I am a risk taker. So this belongs to a customer um, and he wants his um, initials to actually be embroidered on the flap of this um of his pocket okay so as you can see this is going to be what it looks like it's going to be crd um, i'm going to have the round he wants it in this kind of color i think this is really going to look cute and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to do this on my sc 1900 and flatbed the reason why i'm going to do it is because this jacket is kind of heavy i could definitely do it on a multi-unit machine but the thing is i want to show you guys that you can do this on single needle machines too. So what I am going to be doing is, I am going to be using my four by four hoop, regular hoop, and this is the stabilizer that I'm gonna be using. It's gonna be sticky stabilizer. I do have to score this and I'm going to expose the sticky stabilizer and I am going to place this on here and align it. This is the actual template that I pinned here. So you guys can see, it's very small, simple stitch. It's just three initials. And the reason why I wanna do this on the flatbed is because like I said, it's kind of heavy and I feel like it'll lay better and I will be able to better maneuver it. So one of the things that I wanna definitely do is at first is I wanna make sure that I have this exactly where I want it. So let's do first things first here, okay? because I do want to pin this in the correct spot. And I have here the same one, but I have it on this. This is kind of folded, okay? So I don't want to use this one, but I do want to use this. And um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but in here there is an X, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop a hole right where the X is. Just to pop a hole right there so that I know exactly where the center point is. And I just want to see if I can make it a little bit bigger. That way I know exactly this is my midpoint of the design. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up here to here. And I'm going to measure between these buttons and get that center point. And then what I want to do is I want to actually pin this right in the center point of the design. So let me get my ruler. This is good. Okay, so this is like four inches. So right, it's not exactly four inches. It's a little bit less than four inches. So hold on, I'm gonna make this really flat because I wanna make sure I get this right. I know that from here to here, it looks like, it's like three inches. Yeah, I'll have to eyeball it a little bit, but I wanna get it as close as possible to the center. So you don't want it to be looking all off and everything, right? And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tape this where it should be, okay? I'm gonna use scotch tape and I'm gonna tape it down until I align it and stuff like that. So, but I do wanna make sure that I have a good center point. So I'm gonna try to see Hold on, I'm gonna get me a measuring tape. Sometimes measuring tapes are better, okay? And then what I'm also going to do is I wanna mark it. So from here to here, it's like four and a quarter inches, okay? So four and a quarter, half of four is, so it's like right around here. This is the midpoint right here. Um, let me see, let me get little stickers. Now, you could use like a marking tool. I don't wanna use chalk or anything like that. I prefer stickers because you peel it right off and it doesn't leave any residue on the items, okay? So I am a sticker person. So I like to put my little dots where I think it should be. So this is about, I'm going across and across. Yeah, like four and a quarter, so it should be, here's two inches, like right here. This is like a midpoint. 
And then from here to here, that's three, three and a half. Yep, I'm good. Okay. So this looks off. This does not look center point to me. This is four. And so that'd be two. Yep, just a little bit more. side that's two and a half and then around here is a little bit too much so this is perfect right here this works all right so since I have that there this is my center point and it still looks off to me right it really does hold on I gotta really figure this out this is two and this is more than two yep we'll go to one right here it's two and a quarter Got it now. Finally, finally got it. Okay, so this is my center point. All right, so because I know this is my center point, oops, I dropped my needle. I'm a little tired today. All right, so I know that this is the center point right here. I'm just going to put my needle through here. And this is where. Here's the center of this. And this is where I want it, right here. So I'm just going to put that in here. There you go. So. There. This is where my initial should be. So I'm going to get some scotch tape. Do that here. And I'm going to tape this around here. So that way it's nice and secure. Okay. So, here's some scotch tape. I like using the templates because I think templates make things a lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to put this and I want to make sure it's nice and straight. And it is. Let me tape one side. Now that I have that side, I'm going to lift this. I can take the sticker off from the back. I don't need my sticker anymore. And then I'm going to tape this. All right, so here we go. This is my center point. Looks good, okay? And now I'm gonna open my thing. And this is the pocket where I want to go ahead and I wanna embroider, okay? So I'm gonna put my pin back now that I have that. Now, as I said, I wanna use this hoop, okay? So what I need to do is, I think this is enough space. This is the side of the hoop, so it's gonna be like this. This will actually lay on top like this. And it's going to be on the sticky stabilizer, so it's going to be okay. All right, so what I want to do is I want to scorch this so that I can um, peel off the sticky stabilizer. And I should do it on a flat surface, actually. This is better. There you go. Then I can pick it. See? Much easier. I don't know why sometimes, it, you know, when you're tired, sometimes you do things wrong. <laughs> All right. I just want to get the rest of this paper off. And I got my sticky stabilizer exposed. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it on to my machine. And this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my SC1900. So now I have to import the design. And I have to put the thread. This is the thread that they want to use. This is really pretty. And um, I already have a full uh, bobbin in there. So I should be good to go. All right, so let me bring over the design. Okay, guys, we are back at the machine, and um, this is my 4x4 four four hoop, okay? So I'm going to put the 4x4 four four hoop into the machine right here, snapped in, all right? So let me get it a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? And if worse comes to worse, then that means I bought myself a $500 jacket, right? So I'll be looking good, so... And I have a pissed off customer, so <laughs> but I'll replace the jacket. 
All right, I'm going to pull up the file. It looks like it's reading. Hope it reads okay. It's taking a long time reading it. Looks like it's reading. Hmm. It's a long time. Oh, looks like it restarted. That's not good. I don't know if I want to do this on a $500 jacket and it's doing a malfunction. I don't think so. Okay, so you know what I'm going to have to do, guys? I'm going to have to do a test stitch before I actually put this jacket under here. Because if this machine is acting up, mm, I don't know if I'm going to want to put this in here. So, but I'm sure it's going to be all right. Okay. It says remove the embroidery. It's all fine. It's fine. Okay. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put this back in. Because that wasn't good, right? All right. I got this in there. So let's do a thing. The light's on. Okay. I'm going to tell it to read the USB again. There we go. All right. Now I got this. Now I'm a little nervous. Okay. So this is a four by four hoop. Okay. Just so you guys know. If you notice right here, and I want to make sure you guys see this. Okay. And you guys can. All right. Good. Okay. As you can see, here are the hoop sizes. Okay. So I am using a four by four hoop and that's that one right here. So I'm going to select this and it's a four by four hoop. Okay. And I'm going to hit set. And as you can see, it is set right there. However, though, I want you guys to look at the jacket. Okay. The jacket, I'm going to take this. It's the flap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it underneath here and I'm actually going to put it in here right but if you notice it's it's um flat but look at the initials it's facing this way okay and the initials is facing straight up i actually need to rotate this so that it's facing this way as well okay so i'm gonna hit rotate okay sorry so i'm gonna hit rotate all right because as you can see the way the initials are i need this and if you look on the slide over here it's not like that so I'm going to hit rotate and I'm going to hit 90 degrees and see, um, yep, it's facing that way. And I'm going to hit okay. Okay. And if you're not sure, go like this. See, see how it is? It's facing that way. That's exactly how I need it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to hit okay. All right. I'm not going to worry about the color. It's all one color. It's going to be the color that I have in the thread. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to feed it underneath here, and I'm going to try to put it right underneath the needle, right in the center. I think I got it. And now I'm just going to press it down. And then I'm going to make sure that it's right where I want it to be. And I'm just going to lift this up a little bit because I want it to have a little flexibility so that it can move around with the hoop. Okay, I'm pressing this down so that way I know it's nice and secure. Oh, sorry. So that it's nice and secure. I thought you guys were seeing me. So I just laid it down. Okay, I just laid it down and now I'm pressing it down. I'm going down. I'm pr making sure the needle is down right where the center point is and it really isn't it's off okay so what i need to do is when i hit end edit oh needle was down that's okay i need to move it back up now i'm going to it is not at the center point center point's there so i need to move it a little bit here this way Right where I have put that hole, that's where I need the needle to go. It won't move if the needle's down. Now 
it's not the center. The needle has to be perfect. That is where I need it to be. Okay, so now I have this down. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this jacket is going to move fr freely as it embroiders. Okay, so I'm going to hit that, hit OK. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So it should embroider with no problem. It should not shift at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off my template. And make sure that my jacket does not move out of the way. It is nice and firm here. It's going to be fine. Make sure the jacket's here. And then... I'm just going to sit here and babysit it, make sure everything is okay, and then I'm ready to go. I am going to rock and roll. So I am going to put my needle down, hit okay, hit embroider, <sighs> green, oh God, this is, this is test, let me tell you, boy, do you guys see everything that I'm doing? Oh my goodness. All right, this is really going to be something, boy, because this is... Guys, this is a $500 jacket. Ah, okay. All right. So, well, I think we're going to be fine. All right. So, I got my everything done. This is good. Um It's going to be okay. All right. I got to have faith, right? Got to have faith. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get okay. And here we go. One letter down. Now I'm going to stop it here because I want to get rid of that jump stitch. Okay, so I like to get rid of the jump stitches as I go. You guys are sweating with me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop this because it looks like it's getting a little bit like not smooth. There you go. I just want to smooth it out. 
Take your time when you're embroidering. Don't rush anything. There's no reason to rush. Okay? So. stop so that I can make sure that this is nice and smooth here because it's going to jump to the next letter. I'm make sure it's nice and smooth. There you go. Next jump. There you go. Okay. So I'll make sure it's nice and smooth. This is this, this. Number two. Let's see how it can. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be fine. I am almost done. Finished. Finished. Okay. All right. So let's lift this up and let's take the hoop out. Woo! I'm sweating. Let's see how this came out. I'm sure it came out great. I'm sure they'll be fine. All right. All right. So I'm going to take all this out of here and we're going to take this to the cutting table. Let's take a look at this real closely and let's see how it actually came out. All right, guys here we are I'm gonna take care of that jump stitch that was on there I'm gonna take care of it right now get rid of it all right now let's get this hoop out of the way all right the stabilizer just take it out there you go all done that was easy all right so let's take a look at this end product and let's see what we got let's see what we got going on over here okay And looks good. Uh-oh. 
just a little crooked. I think they'll be fine with it. It's fine. I'm human, right? Does it look crooked to you? Nah, it's fine. It looks fine. It's just me. Oh, it's fine. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Maybe it looks a little crooked. I don't know. It's a ball. I think it's fine. It's going to be fine. There you go. Looks good. It looks good. All right. One jacket done. And this is, so you guys know <laughs> what kind of brand this is. This is called a bar, barbu jacket or something like that. It's a hunter's jacket. Um, it's like a waxed fabric. And um, yeah, it looks pretty, looks neat. I like that. I really do like that. I think that looks really cute. I think they're going to like it. And it works out. So guys, look at that. See? On a SC1900, not a multi-needle. So guys, hope you like this video. It's pretty quick, very quick, easy project. So if you guys have jackets with little pockets or something like that, you can embroider it right on the SC1900. Pretty neat, huh? All right, guys. So I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great one. Bye.